Today I'm going to talk about five upgrades that I made to my Ruger Security 9. So before I get started, I want to let you know that none of the stuff you're going to see was given to me. Everything that I'm going to show you is something that I paid for myself after researching what I wanted to put on my gun. So it's all unbiased opinions. Even if I did get it for free, I would let you know and it would be an unbiased opinion. But none of this was given to me. I paid for it all. Let's get started. Now the first upgrade I'm going to go over is the magazine. The Ruger Security 9 comes with two 15 round magazines and they do now make a 17 round magazine. So you can upgrade and get an extra two rounds into your gun if you want to get it. This is an OEM product, it's not an aftermarket manufacturer. So you can get it and it comes and it extends it out just a little bit. It looks like that. I think it looks pretty good. Now you'll notice that there is this little plastic piece in the bottom. If you want to take that off, you can stick it in and you'll have that look to it. I don't particularly care for that look and the way it looks. So I like to have that little flush mount piece put on there. And it enables you to go up from 15 plus one to 17 plus one. So 18 rounds that you can carry. Now I know that Galloway Precision does make a two round extender, which you could use on both this one or this one if you wanted to add it on there. So you could go up to 19 plus one if you wanted to carry 20 rounds, but that's gonna give you a pretty long grip then. And honestly, I don't particularly like the way the Galloway Precision extender looks, so I have never bought it and I haven't used it. But this is a good option for a 17 plus one. So you can get a 17 round mag. You can carry 18 with you at all times. The next upgrade I'm gonna discuss is the Hogue grip that you can see on here. This is the Hogue Handall Beaver Tail Grip Sleeve made for the Security 9. I think I got this for about 17 bucks and change on Amazon. Um, I've never had a problem with the Ruger Security 9 grip at all. I've always liked it and it's one of the things that you see commonly mentioned when people talk about the Security 9. It has a pretty comfortable grip to begin with. But I wanted to try this Hogue grip because I was curious because it just, you it doesn't have any finger serrations or finger grooves on the grip. So I was curious how this one would actually look. And honestly, this grip feels fantastic. I was not expecting to actually like it as much as I do. It takes a little bit of getting used to because you go from a slim one inch grip and you can see that it kind of bulges out here right in the middle. And that's perfect because it fits right into the palm of your hand and your fingers come around. And honestly, for 17 bucks, it's a pain to get on but it's made to be that way. It's supposed to be a pain so it doesn't come off. It fits perfect with the, the gun shape and it is a fantastic little upgrade. If you're looking for a good solid grip on your gun, this is a good one that I would recommend going with, a good grip sleeve. So the next upgrade I'm gonna discuss is the optic that I have on top. This video is not really about the optic, it's about the mount plate underneath it. This is a Venom Vortex 6 MOA optic. I've done a review on this before, I've had it for a while. But there's really two options if you want to mount an optic on a Security 9. One, you could have the slide milled to accept a, an optic, but that's going to cost you over 100 bucks. Or you can buy a mount plate so you can mount your optic directly on. Take off the back, the rear sight, and you can put a mount plate on. Now, I've found two companies that have mount plates for the Security 9. You have Lakeline and you have Galloway Precision. Initially, a few months back, I wanted to do a video that compared the two optic mount plates for both companies. So I reached out to both of them. Brandon at Galloway said, yeah, sure, and he sent me out their optic mount plate. Uh, Al at Lakeline, him and I went back and forth via email for a little bit, and he decided he didn't want to participate, he didn't want to send me anything, so I got nothing from them. Well, the one Brandon sent to me was this one. It was an optic mount plate that had a co-witness, so you have the iron sights on it. And I ran into an issue when I was putting it on. You can see there that it stripped a little bit and I contacted Brandon to let him know. And at that time they were in the process of actually doing away with this one and going with a whole new optic mount. So this is the new one they have. It does not have the co-witness. You can get it in black or red. Again, I bought everything in this video. So I bought this optic mount. It wasn't sent to me. So I like it. I mean, this is a perfect little mount. I think it was like, if I'm not mistaken, 25 bucks at Galloway Precision. It fit perfectly. It it, it allows me to put my uh, optic on top of it and it doesn't wiggle. There's no wiggle room. 
I put a little bit of Loctite on there and it stays and I've had no issues with this. I think it's a fantastic option if you do want to put an optic onto your Security 9. I would recommend going with Galloway. I can't say anything about Lakeline because I didn't get their optic mount so I have no idea what kind of quality that they do. But the Galloway Precision one that I bought for 25 bucks is definitely worth it. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is this little red trigger that we see here on here. This is the... Now the next upgrade I'm going to talk about is the red trigger that we see on here. This is the Galloway Precision Seneschal Short Stroke Trigger made for the Security 9. Now the purpose of this trigger is to reduce the travel time of the initial pull. The trigger comes just with the trigger by itself. It doesn't come with any springs or anything else in the trigger group. So it does not change the reset point. It does not change the pull weight, but it reduces the travel time. Just to kind of show you what I mean, the initial, the, the re factory trigger of the Security 9 has kind of a long pull. It kind of sits out like that. So you have a lot more distance you got to travel before you actually fire and before you hit the reset and then it goes back out. So you got to pull it. This changes it. I'll go ahead and show you right now. Show you that the gun is clear. It's clear and it's empty as I point the barrel to myself through the uh, camera. So I'll go ahead and close it out and I'll pull the trigger, reset it, and listen to the reset point when, as I let go. Let me get it focused. Right there. And that's where the trigger stops. So you pull it again, it resets, and that's where the trigger stops. So it used to be that once the reset, you still had a good, you know, three, four, five millimeters, not five millimeters, it's half a centimeter, probably about three more millimeters of travel on the on the uh, on the trigger before you would before it would stop. So you had to do all that initial travel. This one. Reset, stops. So it's a perfect little trigger if you want to actually have uh, less travel time with your trigger pull. Um, this was 35 bucks on Galloway Precision. I'm not going to show you how to put it on because I can't improve on perfection. Go to the Galloway Precision page and Brandon has about a 20 minute video showing you exactly how to put this on and everything you need to know. It took me about 30 to 40 minutes to do it. When I did it, I had basically watched his video full and then I put the video on again, and I did it as I was kind of watching the video and stopping it. Now, I'm not an expert gunsmith or anything, so 30 to 40 minutes to put this trigger on for someone who has as little knowledge as I do was pretty good. Again, I highly recommend this trigger as an upgrade. If you do any one upgrade on your Security 9, this would be the one I recommend. Now, we've gone through the magazine, the grip sleeve, the optic mount, and the trigger. This last one is one that I'm calling an upgrade, but it depends on personal preference, so it may not be an upgrade for you. Now, the Security 9 comes with a plastic guide rod and a 17-pound spring. This is what you get on there. Galloway Precision makes a stainless steel guide rod, and they have springs in 15, 17, 20, and 22-pound weights. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And I'll show you the guide rod that I have in there right now. I'll do this off camera so that YouTube doesn't accuse me of trying to show you how to assemble or disassemble stuff. But this is the stainless steel guide rod that Galloway Precision makes. Um, and I have a 20 pound spring on here. Now theoretically, a heavier guide rod is going to lead to less muzzle flip because you have more weight in the front of the gun. And a heavier spring going from 17 to 20 pounds is going to reduce the felt recoil in the back because the spring absorbs more of the recoil, but it may increase the muzzle dip. So this is something that really you have to fine tune for your own needs. If you want to change the weight of your spring, 15, 17, 20, 22 pounds, whatever you want, you can do that based on where you think you need to be. Um, it's something that I decided to change and it's for, I forget how much the spring was. I think it was under 20 bucks, but it's on Galloway Precision's website, and you can go ahead and buy one of those. Now, if you're wondering about how much weight you do change, I have the scale here. The factory guide rod and spring comes in at about 0.31 ounces. The Galloway one comes in at 0.91. So you're looking at a little over half an ounce, 0.6 ounces of additional weight on your gun if you do decide to change that. Now, if you're wondering how much all this extra added stuff adds to the weight of the gun, the Security 9 comes in just over 23 ounces unloaded as is. With a fully loaded 15 round magazine, it comes in at about 27 ounces. 
Now here with a 15 round magazine and unloaded, nothing but I have the extra weight in the front, I have the optic mount, comes in at 26 and two thirds ounces with a fully loaded 17 round magazine. You're looking at about 35 and a third ounces uh, with 17 rounds in there. So it really depends on what kind of weight you want for a carry gun. I'm fine with a 36 ounce carry gun because it gives me all the extra benefits of the, the, the additional rounds in there and plus I have the optic on top. So this is a good amount for me. You have to decide whether you want to do all this stuff for yourself because some people don't like a carry gun that's over 30 ounces, 32 ounces. But for me, this is my gun. This is my carry gun. If you ever mess with me, you will find me with this guy. And guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about any of the upgrades on here, please let me know. Um, take care. God bless.